Hi, good evening. Hello. Oh, hi. Hi, Mario. Hi, good evening. hi teacher. How are you, Jessica? Hi, I'm fine. How are you? How was your day? I'm very good. Very good. Excellent. Are you working from home, Mario? Yeah. Yeah, since I don't know the 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 start of this pandemic, I was st I still working in my house. So okay. <laughs> for me, I don't have. Well, I have the. Uh, I feel very blessed because I, I'm still having work right now. That's so. right. Yeah. All right. That's yeah. good. Very good. Hi, Jose. How was your day? Hi, teacher. I'm good. All right. Very nice. All right, Herbert. How are you today? El Mercito, Alexia. Natalie, hello. Hi. What happened to you yesterday, Alexia? We missed you. Eh, de en la casa. I know. <laughs> yesterday was hard. It was difficult because of the rain, I figured. All right. Yeah, yeah it was very, very, like, like, crazy yesterday. All right. And Elmer, why are you so quiet today, Elmer? Good evening, my dear teacher. How are Good you? Good evening. I'm fine. I'm, I'm not quiet, teacher. I always with. You're always talkative. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, if you say so. All right. And Walter, hello. David, hello. And Natalie, how are you guys? How was your day? Hello, teacher. Good evening, teacher. All right. Very good. Nice to hear that everybody's okay and safe. All right. Oh my goodness, where's everybody today? Oh, there's Barbara. Hi, Barbara. All right, guys. So today is Thursday. Today is the last. Hi, Ale. Today is the last class of the second week. All right. So imagine that. Hi, Eric. All right. So it's already like we're half the course again. So I think time flies like fast yeah. we're we have running two, right now. yeah we're running yeah uh, yeah so we have two more weeks and we're gonna be finished with pre-advanced three and then we move we will move to advanced one all right great so, yeah i know I so that, yeah i know so guys whenever you get i don't think you have gotten any mail yet from english corporativo but when you get it oh. please send it soon start soon all right the next uh, course okay remember that it depends on your paperwork and it depends when you finish your platform so you need to be working on that as well all right so eric how are you today why are you so serious today eric excuse me teacher yes we must receive an email excuse me telling us we must receive an yes, email yes you will but probably next week natalie yeah, you will probably yeah, you okay. always receive it and you have to do the process of sending the paperwork and everything. That's like you do it every time you begin a new well, we finish a new course and we'll begin a we finish a course and we'll begin the new course. All right. So we need you need to um get all those papers ready and everything. Okay. Okay. So probably next week okay. you're gonna be Thanks. getting it. All right. Right now it's too early, okay. but I think next week probably, yeah. All right, so, oh, hi, Jose Ramos, Rocio, Francisco, very good. All right, guys. How many people do I have? Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 15, almost to the, uh, to the number that we get every night. All right, I already uh, got a message from Noemi. She's not gonna be able to get in. And also from Jenny, the other Jennifer I have, she's not able to get in, but I guess the rest of your classmates are coming in soon. All right, guys, so as I said, this is the last class of this week. Tomorrow we have no class, all right? So please do not expect me to come at nine o'clock in your screen because I will not appear, all right? So, <laughs> um, so guys, today we're gonna be talking about section three. We're gonna begin it. I know you have already seen it. I want to work on the platform a little bit. We're gonna go and watch the first video of it where there is a conversation and the point of it, oh my God, Williams, <laughs> hi. Hi. How are you? I'm fine. So nice to see you. Ooh, me too. <laughs> Very good. All right. So welcome back. Se nos había perdido por ahí. Nos había traicionado, dice. I work a lot. 
<laughs> That's okay. I understand. Okay, so we're going to go back to the platform. We're going to the platform right now. I want you guys to listen to the conversation and pay attention to the grammar. And after that, we're going to go to the grammar topic, which is past models of certainty. All right. So let's get ready. Let's go. Go with me. All right. So here we go. You can see it. You can see the uh, conversation. Yeah. Yeah. Excellent. All right. So yeah. you probably like saw it already, but that's okay. We can see it again because I have a purpose for it. Okay. So the conversation, what happened? All right. Just please listen to it and then we'll talk about it. You asked Beth to be here around seven o'clock, didn't you? Yes. What time is it now? It's almost eight. I wonder what happened. Hmm. She might have forgotten the time. Why don't I call and see if she's on her way? I got her voicemail, so she must not have turned on her cell phone. I hope she didn't have a problem on the road. Her car could have broken down or something. Of course, she may have simply forgotten and done something else today. No, she couldn't have forgotten. I just talked to her about it yesterday. I guess we should start without her. All right. So let's go back here. I just want you to see it here, all right? So what are Jackie and Bill talking about? What's going on? Can someone tell me what's going on in the conversation? Uh, they're maybe, waiting for Beth. Okay. They're waiting yeah. for Beth, okay. And she's not coming, is she? No. Do not they be know yet? On? No, they don't have, they don't, they don't know, but maybe they suppose that uh, Beth forgot the meeting. Ah, or, okay. All right. Or have a wide excuse for don't, don't for see not Bill up. and Jackie. All right. Yeah, okay. Very good. Okay. So how do you know? Let's see here. Um, Ale. Ale. Hi, Alejandra. Hi. So, Alejandra, how do you know? I mean, where on the conversation gives you the idea that they don't know exactly what happened to her or why she hasn't shown up yet? Um, because Bill says that she might have forgotten. All right. And they are wondering what's going on, like what happened with her? What happened with her? And ja I mean, Jackie suggests something. All right, Rocio, what mm -hmm. does Jackie suggest? about maybe it happened to uh, Beth. Rocio, you maybe, there? Uh -huh. Yes, yes. Maybe she had a problem. Okay, the, does Jackie say that? Maybe she had a way. problem? Jackie says that? Uh, she said she hoped she didn't have a problem. a problem on the road and then she says something else her car what what about her car uh, her car could be broken could have could have uh-huh could have broken down uh-huh all right or something uh -huh. right okay or something yes mm -hmm. all right thus let's see um francisco Bill says, maybe she forgot, all right? And what does Jackie respond to that? Francisco, are you there? Yeah, yeah. All right, okay. Yeah, so, uh-huh, yeah. you're thinking. So what does, or anybody here, all right, Bill says, Maybe, or she says, uh, he says, sorry, she may have simply forgotten. And then Jackie says, what does Jackie say to him? Jackie doesn't she, say anything? Well, she, she said that she talked with, with her yesterday. Okay. So that's why she says she couldn't have forgotten because we just talked about it yesterday, okay? Thank you, Francisco. Yeah. All right, so here you okay. go, guys, all right? So if you notice, let's go back here for Beth, and then they say, um, 
Bill says, on the first part of the conversation, Bill says, she might have forgotten the time, all right? She might have forgotten, all right? That is the past model of certainty that we are going to be talking about today. Can you find another um, model of certainty, past model of certainty along the conversation, guys? I already found the first one. Can you find the other one, anybody? Yes, her car could have broken down. All right, her car could have broken down. Very nice. Mm -hmm. Another one, guys. Of she course, must have she have may have simply. All right, have she have may have simply forgotten. That's another one. Can we find the last one? Uh, she couldn't have forgotten. She couldn't have forgotten. In negative, right? So if you notice, guys, the past models for certainty in either affirmative or negative that doesn't make i mean i mean you can do it either way all right so it depends on what you want to say it depends on the context okay let's move on here i'm not gonna answer Contact these questions Beth. you can answer those eyes after answering all of those i'm late right. i had an emergency acting strange here. then she just panicked Hold I on. thought she had died at first. I had to rush, but is she okay? She's going to be fine. Oh Gave her an injection, right, and okay. I had to leave her with him. So let's go here, I'll go. It's here. Okay, so we're going to play the video here, and I just want to take you here. Just give me a second so it uploads here quickly. All right, so... If we have studied models before, all right, so not nothing new, but maybe what's new is that we're using them on the past tense, and maybe what's new is the degree of certainty. Some of the model verbs that we're going to be using are like to a certain degree more certain than the other ones, okay? My goodness, this is taking forever. All right, oh, there you go. All right. Oh, now it's a, now it's stuck here. Just give me a second, guys. Give me a second. My goodness. Okay, there you go. Now it's fixed. All right. So here we have. We're gonna see here is the same thing that is on the conversation. I mean, the 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 past models of four degrees of certainty. When you are almost certain, now watch it. It says almost. I'm not saying I'm 100% sure. Okay, so that is something that you have to take into account. When we say almost, is that maybe there is a 95, 98% of certainty that that's what happened, but not 100%. Okay, you understand that little difference? Yes? Yeah, all right. So when you're almost certain about something, you have to use must, right? The model verb must gives you the idea that you're almost, almost certain about something happening or not happening, okay? Either way, affirmative or negative. Then you go when it's not possible, all right? because we're talking about uh, past models, we're not talking about present, we're talking about past models that we're going to use couldn't, all right? Because it's in negative. She couldn't have been home, all right? It's not possible. There's no way in your mind that that happened. So in this case, when you say, okay, no, this is not possible, all right? Uh, then you say, okay, I'm going to use couldn't have all right, been at home. Now, if it's, there is a possibility, remember, we were, to, we were saying that when you're almost certain you use must, and perhaps it's a 95, 98%. When it's possible, we're talking about maybe a 50%, 60% depending, all right? But let's say it's a 50. Now, when you get to the point, then you can decide, all right, and depending of the degree of possibility, you may use three model, model verbs, all right? May, might, or could, okay? If you notice, 
In this example, in this book, they use may and might to the same level, all right? However, might is a little bit more informal, okay? You may use it the same, but it's a little bit uh, less formal, all right? But it's, you can use either or and it's okay. It's not that it's unrespectful, it's okay. Then you use could, all right? So remember, when you're almost certain, you use must, no other one, only must, all right? If you use something that you know is not possible, in other words, it's like negative, then you use couldn't, all right? And if it's possible, right? And within the possibility, there's a slight degree of formality and that degree of possibility, then you may use may, might, or could. Now, if you notice, guys, all of those, uh, let's say three, four, five, all right, five past models that we're using, how is the structure? Can you tell me what they follow? Anybody? Hmm. Either Obvious. you're using, oh, go ahead. Mm. <laughs> uh, uh -huh. The structure um, about everything or the first one? Um, uh, the structure that they all share, Herbert, because if you take a look at them, oh, must have okay, left, okay. must not have uh, turned, couldn't have been, may have forgotten, might have forgotten, could have broken. They follow a structure. What structure are they following? Okay. Uh, first, subject plus huh? must. The model uh, verb, uh, yes. An auxiliary, a model verb, uh -huh. uh, past participle, and yes. then um, adverbs, um, noun, noun and, clause. Right, or the, the complement if you want to. Right, okay. okay. Thank you, Herbert. Very nice. So you have to use, of course, you need to use the subject, okay? Then you guys, we need to use the model, the, pa the, the model verb, or in this case, the past model verb, because it's talking about the past here. Then we use have plus the past participle. All right? For everybody. Acuérdese que los verbos modales son una familia externa de los verbos en general. Los verbos modales tienen sus propias reglas. All right, you have to remember that. Y eso ya lo hemos visto. Los modal verbs no se conjugan como los otros verbos. She plays. No me vayan a andar inventando decir she mays. All right, or she might. My dear teacher. Yes, my dear student. I have a question. <laughs> yes. What, what is, uh, have more possibility in this case? Almost or almost certain or is possible? I, I... I do you want to know the degree of certainty? Yeah, yes, uh, in, in, the, in the almost is 50 50. No, no. in the almost is 95 98 percent, almost 99. 90, yeah, ni, 95 98. It, yeah, uh, es más cierto. Sí, claro, almost certain. Usted está casi okay. seguro que la teacher no va a faltar ni un día a clase. Yeah, okay. it's yes, possible. I, is 50-50. 50-50. Y dentro, por eso decía, dentro de esa posibilidad, está la posibilidad, uh -huh. o el grado de formalidad y el grado de posibilidad dentro de esa posibilidad, ¿me entiende? Sí, sí. ¿Ya? Yeah? Right. Sí, sí. Uh -huh. All right, very good. Okay, other question, guys. I need questions porque si no empiezo yo a questioning you. Hi, Jenny, por ti. Hi. Hi, Ana. Hi, teacher. Nice, nice. Hi, Yelly. Very good. And Daniel Sorry. also. Very nice. All right. Could, could okay, you vamos. explain, please, the difference between may and might? Okay. The uh -huh. difference between may and might and could, you actually use them pretty much at the same level, eh, Rocio. All right? However, may is a little bit more formal than might and more possible than could. Yeah? But the degree of possibility is very, very near, like 1% more than the other one. Yeah? Okay, okay. More formal. Maybe. May is more formal, and might is a little bit more informal. If you notice, Rocio, on this example here, 
they have used. She may or might have forgotten the time. If you notice, yeah. they are writing or they are using may and might at the same level. Yes. Hicieron la excepción with could, all right? Yes. Lo pusieron abajo. Why? Because could maybe is 2% below the possibility of may and might, all right? But other than that, it's pretty much the same. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then, thank, thank you. you. Yeah, you're very mm -hmm. welcome. And mm -hmm. then we were also talking, que Herbert nos enseñaba eso, la estructura, the structure that they all follow. Si se fijan, todos siguen la misma. Uh, uh, the, the model verb plus have plus the PP. All right. Y yo les decía, recapitulando la historia de los verbos modales, es que son una familia aparte de los verbos. Entonces no lo puedo andar conjugando con el, todo el mundo. She may, como he may, como it may. No me vayan a andar diciendo she mays o he, he might. Eso no existe. All right? Yes. Entonces no hagamos nuevas reglas. Ya está complicado esto. All right? No, mentira. All right? All right. Very good. Do you have questions? Guys, do you have questions? No. No sure. questions. Yes? Uh, for, uh, is possible to use my or mate in a negative sentence or when we want to express a negative sentence? Which yeah, you can say she may not have forgotten. Lo que pasa oh, que como okay. más but you can use them in negative. She might okay. not have. All right. And I have a, a, a question. Like yes. Jose Ramos says, uh -huh. if you use negative for, we can con, con, contract contract the mate. No. She made, uh -huh. no, she you, made can, you cannot write. No. Sabe uh -huh. que allá okay. por el tiempo de Shakespeare, all right, ayer, ¿verdad? Sí, sí lo okay. hacían. All right. Um, y hacían unas sus contracciones medio raras que den gracias a Dios que ya no. All right. Ok. Uh, pero antes sí, era así como bien complicado, ¿verdad? Y habían otras. Ahora no, el que puede con contractar si se fija es el couldn't, mm -hmm. All right? pero usted no puede poner she mayn't, ni sé ni cómo se pronunciaría, she may not, aquí me estoy inventando, she might okay. have, no, you can't, All right? you can say it, you can actually do it in negative if you want to, but you cannot make a contraction, Mario, All right? okay, thank you, All right. you're welcome, All right. a mí me gusta cuando me hacen preguntas, very good, All right. Uh, let's go on here, guys. Past modals for degrees of... It's not possible. She couldn't have been at home. It's possible. She may have forgotten the time. She might have forgotten the time. She may not have remembered the time. She might not have remembered the time. Her car could have broken down. Past models for certainty. We may use must or couldn't have. We use must or must not have when we are almost certain. You see, Elmer, regresando a su pregunta, Elmer. Must or must not have when we are almost certain. Entonces, cuando estamos casi ser, like, seguros, usamos el must or must not have. Mario, igual, el must not have, you can use it in negative. In that one, you can say must not, mustn't, mustn't have. In that one, you can, you can make a contraction, Mario. All right, let's continue here. We may also use okay. couldn't have if it's not possible. Past models of possibility. We may use may, might, or could have. So remember, we may use may, might, and could when something is possible, but we don't know for sure. All right, so here, se ve un poco, un poco blurry because of my internet, pero igual no lo pueden ver, this is on the platform. So, when you can use may, might, or could have, y todo but may have, could have, might have, all right? No estamos hablando, ¿por qué? Porque son past models. All right, si usted me dice, teacher, pero eh, cuando yo le digo, may I go to the bathroom, no le digo may have, all right? Sí, porque no, es un, no estamos hablando de past models. All right, so it depends on the situation. It depends on the tense that you're speaking. All right, in this case, we're using these models on the past tense. All right, entonces me dice, entonces los verbos modales tienen tiempo verbal, claro. All right, that's, that's a verb. All right, so here it depends on the degree of certainty or possibility. When you want to use may, might, or could have, 
This is what you should follow. Subject plus may or might or could plus have plus past participle. She may have gotten lost. All right. Oops. If you not, si esto no lo puede omitir, es participle. Esto. She a uh, subject, lo, como nos decía Herbert, subject plus may or might or could plus have plus past participle. Usted no puede decir she, eh, veamos el ejemplo que habíamos puesto aquí. She may, oh, y se movió. I will yes. present two situations. No. All right. So she may have, she may gotten lost. No tendría sentido. She may gotten lost. No, she might have gotten lost. Tiene que ir todo junto. Mm -hmm. Ahora la estructura tiene que seguir. Hija, you have to follow the structure. All right? So it makes sense. Do you guys understand? Guys, yes. hello? Yes? Yes. All right, yes. Eric, yes. all clear? Yes. Like yes. water yes. or like horchata, Eric? <laughs> like water. Excellent. All right, very good. Yeah. So I'm going to stop sharing here. And the rest, Eric? Understand, Williams, mm -hmm. you understand, Selena. Hi, Selena. Everybody understands, yes? Yes. yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> yes. All right. Espereme, espereme here. Just give me a second, guys, please. Oops. Oops, oops, oops. oops, oops. Yeah. I know, David. All right. Okay. So now we're gonna, I'm gonna take you to this. As always, guys, I'm gonna show you uh, a presentation, all right? That's gonna, it's the same information, all right? So there's nothing new, no se asuste, all right? But it's just like to review, vamos a ver, all right? So here we're using model, can you see? Yeah. Yeah, yeah? all right. Yes. Here we're talking about uh, models of possibility or certainty, all right? They are pretty they are the same. Again, here you're talking about might, may, could, must. Usaron el can't aquí por el hecho del presente, all right? But it's pretty much the same. Lo ocupa de la misma forma. So let's go. Whoops, let's go. Ooh. Ya terminé la presentación, va a creer. Sorry, guys. Oh, my goodness. Whoops. ¿Qué no pasa? Yeah, all right. Okay, so models of possibility. When you are not sure, you may use might, might may, may, and could. O sea, when you're talking about possibility. Si estamos hablando de possibility, you don't know. Maybe yes, maybe no. All right? When you're sure something is possible, or true must all right when you're not uh, when you're uh, when you're sure something is not possible or true you can use can't ahorita omite el can't porque ese es presente we're not using that one right now but that's pretty much what we have here models of possibility when you're not sure igual might may could now change the sentences here all right if i say let's see williams porque nos había traicionado Williams. All right. If I say perhaps, maybe England will win the next World Cup. Can you change it to like using any of the model verbs of past models of certainty? How can you say it using the past models of certainty? That same sentence. Um, maybe you use might or might have. Might have? Yeah. All right. Change the sentence. In this case, they are telling you change the sentence and use might. All right. So, ¿cómo nos queda? Tell me the whole sentence, uh, uh, Williams. Okay. England may have. Uh, might have? May, may have. May have, may have or, or might have? Might, might have. Okay. Yeah. Might have win the next World Cup. So England might might win. In this case, they're just using it with might yeah. because right now they're not like really using it with the past tenses, all right? Okay. But this is what I want you to see. It <clears throat> depends on what you're talking about and how you're talking about that you can use it in the present or you can use it in the past, all right? So in this example, it wouldn't make any sense because the next World Cup 
is future. Future. So yeah. how can we be using the, the past tense past model of certainty, mm -hmm. right? That would be kind of weird. So in that case, we're just using might. Just reminding you again, que cuando hablamos de models of possibility, obviamente puede ser una posibilidad in the present as, as a possibility in the past, all right? So just like kind of like I'm playing with your mind right now, going back and forth with present, porque ya hemos visto, and past that we're studying right now, okay? I just want to take you here. Hold on. Teacher. Yes. Puede regresar a la, a la anterior. ¿A cuál anterior? A la de Inglaterra. Ajá. Esta. England, ajá, my win the next word. Posiblemente lo explico, pero no lo entendí. England, my, la estructura es have. Sí, pero acuérdese, Entonces, bueno, de hecho, lo, sí lo expliqué, Elmer, que ajá. acá lo están tomando en presente. ¿Verdad? No tendría sentido porque si decimos the next World Cup, that's future. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Entonces aquí sería Inglaterra podría ganar la próxima. ¿Qué sería? Esa cosa. World Cup. Copa Mundial. Copa Mundial. Copa Mundial. Eso para que vean que ahora no fútbol. All right. About soccer. All right. Sorry, Mario. All right, entonces, eh, oh, yeah, oh, I'm sorry. All right. en, en el presente pierde la estructura. Claro, pierde la estructura porque es presente, right? Entonces es como llevarlos, esto que ya se ha visto mil veces antes, Elmer, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Como lo, el, el, la, los modales en presente pueden convertirse también en pasado, va a depender de cómo estoy hablando yo, all right? O en qué momento lo estoy usando. Si lo ocupo en presente, obviamente no voy a llevar la estructura de half plus past parties de poco. As okay. if I was talking in, in the past. Cámbienme uh -huh. esa. A ver, eh, Mario Cortés, solo porque ya no me quiere, porque me hizo así, porque no sé de fútbol. Pásenme esa oración en pasado. Uh, I don't know. I don't know, Jessica, but maybe uh, uh, England might win the next World Cup. Uh, England may have may not won no but, uh, but the may have won Mario. yeah may have not or may have may have may have not uh, may have not uh, won the fifa the, world cup the, the last year. world cup the last yeah. world cup because if you're talking about past mario everything uh -huh. has to match right so england yeah may have not won the last World Cup, all right? Okay, yes. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, everything has to match, all right? So what I want you to see, guys, is que aunque sean los past models, eh, o sean los modales, los, like model verbs, they can have past tense, like they can be used in the past tense and they can be used in the present tense. Pero obviamente, como bien Elmer decía, esta no sigue la estructura, no, porque está en presente. All right, the other ones are different because they follow the past structure. All right, so it's a little bit different. Do you guys understand? Yes. Yes. Yeah? yes. All right, you yes. better yes, have. Do. All right, okay, yes, so here. Yes. I just want you to go back. Hold on here. I'm going to show you this example again. Give me a second. Oh, where am I here? No, I don't want to share that with you guys. Oh no, my computer is crazy today. Okay. All right, okay, it's a little bit blurry again, but I hope you guys remember it. What I want you to do, and so I'm going to send you to your groups right now. All right, so what I want you to do is think about a sentence that talks about almost certain, like something that you know that it's all like almost going to happen or not happen. Remember that you may have positive or negative, all right? So what I want you to do is work with your partner writing a sentence with almost certain, when you're like almost certain about something either happening or not happening. I want you to come up with a sentence using uh, the when it's possible. So in that case, you're going to have three sentences. The may, one using may, the other one using might, and the other one is could. And the last one, it's this one. 
she might not have remembered the time. This one, when you say she couldn't have been at home, when it's not possible, all right? So in other words, you have three, four, five sentences that you're working with, okay? One using the, the you're almost certain, you can decide if you want to be like a positive almost certain or a negative almost certain. That's one sentence. The other sentence, when it's not possible, so you're using couldn't have, all right? And then three sentences, one with may have, one with might have, and the other one with, with could have. Do you understand what you're working on? Yes. Just one question, should we do yes, present or past? No, in past. All right. When I just wanted to show you the present one just to remind you that we can do it in whatever tense is needed, all right? But the one that we're working with right now, Ale, is the past okay. modal verbs of certainty, okay? What okay. I want you to do, guys, is please type it on somewhere on the computer so when I come into your group, I can see them, all right? All right. Okie dokie, guys. So let's see here. We're going to go right now. It's in pairs, so you better click on your group. So everybody's working with someone and nobody's working by themselves. There you go. Hi, Selena.
then I was thinking like if he was actually working or what, okay. what, what was he actually doing because he was by himself basically. I oh. Hi. Hi. The teacher could have done it better. Maria have come with her children. Uh, erase the S on children. Which? Children is plural already. Okay, yeah, yeah. You... My pets might yeah. have been hungry. Yes. My sister may not have lived with me. And your chair might not have looked clean. Oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah. Very nice. All right. Okay. <laughs> All right. Get sure. <laughs> yeah, give me two seconds, guys. All right. And okay. I'm going to, yeah. Hi, Anna. Hi, Jenny. Hi. Hi, teacher. How are you girls doing? He may have worked next. Oh, he may have worked last Monday. Re remember that we're talking about past? Oh, yes. Yeah. Yes. She might have gone home early. Very good. Nice. Okay. All right. Yeah. Now, remember that Anna and Jenny, remember that all the um, models of certainty, they follow the same pattern, all right? So you may have must or could, all right? Could. Couldn't, like the couldn't one, all right? Like, like not possible, all right? But also must, it follows the same thing. So subject, must, plus have, plus past participle. She must have, okay. you know, gotten lost, yeah? Okay. All right. Uh, teacher, and, yes. And the next uh, sentence, mm -hmm. I I I want um, written. They could have fallen falling in love. No, yes, no. they could have fallen in love. Uh huh. Falling. Uh, yes. Perfect. Wow, Anita, so okay. romantic today. <laughs> 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 they falling in love, but they had no time or something like that, right? Something <laughs> happened, all right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, so okay. The, the película, Anita. Uh, like, yeah. Very nice. All right. Very good, girls. Thank you. Okay. Right. okay. For the COVID-19, so only the 3%. Uh, they don't have the the that symptoms or they don't have the COVID nineteen, but the three percent of all Germans is, is is very very short percent percent of yeah yeah it's nothing compared with a, a whole population in yes. Germany yes yes hello First. guys. Hi, Jessica. Hello. How are you? Elsa, fine. Elsa may have we, participated in the hexagonal portion of the paperwork. Yeah. We, we put have... a sentence directly for you. El Salvador may have participated in 2010. Thank you, Mario. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, All because right. you are bad. You are bad. <laughs> I know. I'm sorry. Yeah. You know what? My sister really, loves teacher? soccer, but like, I mean, I don't, don't mind like it. It's not that I hate it. It's not something that I like to watch, except for the very final game of the World Cup. <laughs> but what? on Sundays? No. What do you see? I mean, your I husband? See... Netflix. And chill. No, usually Sundays is like we go out because we spend the whole week working and everything. So usually with, we, we go out with the children. But, but right now in the pandemic with COVID-19, I don't do have do time to, I don't really have time to watch Netflix because I'm always like either doing homework with my children or doing my stuff for the platform. Ah, okay. How mm. many children do you have? I have three. Three? Wow. <laughs> yeah. Nice. I got three. Yeah. Maybe 10, 8, and 6. That's no. my firstborn. He's 16. 16 wow it's a big boy right yeah, now. yeah he's a teenager and then the second girl she's eight and the little one she's nice. six nice yeah. congratulations yeah it's it's i keep busy with these kids because yeah. it's like one after the other one with homework and everything so that's nice <laughs> but you're a good teacher so you you can teach your your sons <laughs> Your siblings. Yeah, yeah. I, I try. <laughs> uh, they say that I'm not patient with them. They they always complain that they say, Mom, you you're always rough. patient yeah. with your students, but not with yeah. us. So. <laughs> you are rude with your, with your sons. <laughs> yeah. 
as, as it used funny. to happen. Yeah, yeah, I know, eh? Yeah. Do you have children, Eric? No. No, you're Not single. Yet. Not yet. Okay, very good. Yeah. And Maria, no. you have children? I mean, I have a girlfriend, but ah, okay. I don't have any children. Right. Okay. Because children is a big responsibility. Yes. Yes, yeah. I know. And what about Mario? You, you do you have children? No, 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 I don't have. No. It. All right. Not yet. Okay. Like Eric said. We have yeah. to be responsible for it. Of course, yes. I All have right. to learn. I have to learn English first. Okay, very maybe. good. <laughs> Later on, maybe. Yeah, maybe. The same excuse. The same I excuse. <laughs> That's uh, right. Really? Okay. No, yeah, it's, it's very important to, to learn English. It is. It and is. I love this platform. They're very good. Very good idea from the English Corporativo. Yes, uh, yes. A friend yes, told yes. me about this uh, course and mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's very, it was very good. Yeah, yeah, for me it's better that we can share and we can talk. I know. Uh, English is, you can learn more English if you, you, if you practice talk, it. you practice. Right, it. that's right, yes, yeah, all right. Yeah, so but, Mario, this is the first time that you took this course? Yes. That yes. you're with us? Oh, okay. Yes, it's the first time. All right, okay, interesting, very nice. And maybe I continue with all the yeah, yeah, you should. The the yes. whole process, yeah. The whole process, yes. Yeah, all yes. right. Very good. Okay. Back. And I have just like a couple of sentences for everybody, all right? Okay. Okay, okay. thank you. All right, guys. Before I'm we here. go, hi, hi, everybody's here. All right, before we go, I want to share this with you. You know what? I'm actually going to send it to the group. Okay, this is okay. Um, a worksheet about um, past like models in general. All right, so the beginning of it is, uh, if you notice, this is certainty about the present. Okay, so that's how you can use these model verbs with um, of certainty in the present tense. If you move down on it, then you guys can see and you're gonna find it here and i'm gonna show it to you right away here we talk about certainty about the past okay if you keep on scrolling it down you're gonna find certainty about the future all right so if you can like if you are able to take a look at it you can see the three tenses all right so i think that's very important but before i want it i mean i want to share this with you that i want to do this exercise with you guys right now <clears throat> So here it says, put into practice, you'll see five pictures accompanied by sentences. For each one, fill in the blanks with must have if you think it happened, okay? This is up to you. Must not have if you think it didn't happen or couldn't have if you think it's impossible. All right, do you understand? Yes. Okay, I need a volunteer. Right now, I need a volunteer. Who's gonna volunteer for me? Yeah. Only one. Put it into. Oh, you have to Me. Uh, for for answer the question or yeah. for read the. I want it for it like for you to complete the exercise. So who said me? Someone said me. From Mario Ortiz. Oh, okay, okay. So try it because you just got in. All right. So try it. Try making the sentence, Mario. Uh, the thief. He says. Um. The team must have gotten through the window. No? Okay, so sure, if you think it happened, you think it happened, yeah. fine, right? Okay, very good, because the window's broken, right? It depends also mm -hmm. on the picture that you see. Thank you, Mario, very well done. All right, another volunteer. Me. Oh, okay, who's me? Eric. Eric, yeah. <laughs> All right, Eric. <laughs> <laughs> uh, try it, Eric. See, look at the picture and tell us. Remember that if you think it happened or it was impossible or the other possibility. Okay. I couldn't I couldn't have left my phone at work. I made a call on the drive home. Yeah, I made a call on drive home. Very good. All right. Next one. Who need I need a girl volunteer? Uh -huh, girls. Who's gonna volunteer for me? Nobody. Oh me? my goodness. Who's Where's me? the girls? Come on, don't be shy. Natalie. Okay, Natalie, thank you. All right, so tell us this sentence, please, Natalie. She, she must have been happy 
when she heard the good news. Excellent, very good. All right, Natalie, can you choose another classmate of yours, please? Oh, choose anybody. Uh, okay, uh, Mario, name I remember. <laughs> Mario Cortez, because already the other Mario already participated. All right, oh. Mario Cortez. That's okay. That's okay. We have two Marios. Uh -huh. okay. All right, Mario okay. Cortez. Natalie, oh, you. Thank you, Natalie. Thank you. <laughs> Sorry. You're bad. No, no problem. <laughs> well, they might have bought a house without a loan because they had no savings. Mm, read it again, so, Mario. It should yeah. make, I mean, it has to make sense. Yeah, they might bought, they might bought a house. They might have bought. They might have bought the house without a loan because they have no savings. But least, read yes, carefully. It's in, the, yeah. Yes, mm -hmm. it's in negative. So right? they negative. might haven't bought a house mm. without a no, no. Mario. No, no, it's a possible. No, no, no. But it's, it's not possible. possible. Right? Uh, Look at what it says at the very end, guys. It says because they, they could had have no bought, savings. they couldn't have, couldn't have. Right. They couldn't, okay. They couldn't, they couldn't have, have, bought, a have house. bought a house without a loan because, because they had no they savings. Had no right? savings. So it was not possible yeah. for them. Very good. Mario, can you choose uh, someone else, please? A girl. Uh, a girl, okay. Yeah. Uh, girl. We have Barbara, we had Jenny, we have uh, Ale Aguilar. Ale, all right, Ale, uh-huh. Um, he looks upset. He must, uh, <laughs> let me see, whatever she just, he, he, <laughs> uh-huh. I went blank. I don't know what's going on with my brain today. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's okay. I Ale, promise okay. I studied. I mean, let me try <laughs> He looks upset. He must, he must not have liked whatever she mo she just said. All right. Does that sound right, guys? Must not have? Yes. yes. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. Must yeah. not have, yes. Alejandra, right? Switch it. Must you feel the pressure. You feel yeah, the pressure. Yeah, I know. Everybody <laughs> was looking at Alejandra. Y eso que no tiene la cámara encendida. Ale, oh, choose okay. <laughs> Ale, choose another one, please. Uh, let me see. The last one. Um, one last mm. victim. I mean, volunteer. <laughs> Ellie? Ah, Ellie. All right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Great. It, it must have been better. Mm, does that make sense, Ellie? Just, if I ask you, how was your presentation? Is it great, Jessica? It, it must not have been better. No. Couldn't. It couldn't. Uh -huh. It couldn't. couldn't. No pudo haber sido mejor, right? Uh -huh. Been better. Yeah, very good. All right. Okay. Okay. Guys, I'm going to send that file to you. All right. It's 16 pages. Okay. But it's good for you to study if you want to study. Ahí le va a ir un poquito el presente, el pasado, el futuro of models of certainty. Okay. Igual, eso es un extra. Lo que usted tiene que preocuparse es on the platform. Guys, thank you so much for being on the week of the course. I'll see you guys on Monday, okay, for the third week. And pretty soon we're going to be finishing, all right? So thank you so much. Have a nice weekend. Please stay home if you don't have to go out and keep safe, okay? Bye, guys. Bye. 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 Bye.